What is up, beautiful people of YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, I am Nick. And on this channel, I ride motorcycles, I work on motorcycles, and I travel around the country bringing you guys on all my adventures. So, if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead, bang that subscribe button. We are almost to 1,000 subs, and at 1,000 subs, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Not quite sure what that's going to be yet. So this is my 2016 Indian Roadmaster that we affectionately call Rhonda. And uh, a couple months back, I put this uh, Clockworks windshield on, and uh, I've really been enjoying that. So there will probably be a, a review coming on that windshield soon. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Today, we are talking about Turd Bomb. And yes, Turd Bomb is back on the lift. We'll get into that. But so Turd Bomb has always had this gauntlet fairing on it. I liked it. It did a pretty good job. It keeps the wind off my chest. Can't really complain about it. And it was cheap. I want to say I got it on Amazon for like 65 bucks shipped. So not a bad deal. It's a copy of the Memphis Shades. And uh, I don't know why anybody would spend the money on the Memphis Shades when that one is significantly less. It comes with all the mounting hardware. But today's video is not about that fairing. It is about this fairing right here and this is the crater fairing off of Amazon and uh, it is a copy or a clone or whatever you want to call it of the Burley tall uh, touring fairing so Burley charges I want to say $320 for this fairing I got this on Amazon through Prime for $120 with free shipping it comes with everything to mount it and it even comes with a bracket for relocating the headlight and moving it forward. Unfortunately, I have the wrong kind of headlight bucket, so uh, I need to get a different bucket to do that. So my headlight is set back. This is a solid black windscreen. It is not transparent. When I ordered it, I also ordered these hand guards right here. These are metal. Got those on Amazon. Also, I want to say I spent $30 on those, maybe $40. But uh, they seem pretty well made. I didn't do a video installing those because it's pretty simple. You just take your mirror off and they slide on. The mirror goes through the hole and they're mounted. If you can't figure that out, you probably shouldn't be touching a motorcycle. This fairing though, I was going to do an install video. I started to do a video on doing the install. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It sucked. This thing, there, it came with no directions and was just completely miserable to install. If we come over here to the side, you can see how I have it mounted. Um, the brackets can go a lot of different ways. It's kind of left to your own interpretation, I guess. But that's how I have it all mounted. There are uh, some rubber inserts so that this won't mar your forks. And then these brackets, they're slotted and have lots of holes, lots of adjustability. But uh, this right here is what is working for me, and it is mounted pretty tight. I've only rode it once with the fairing on so far, but I did hit triple digit speeds, and uh, it didn't go anywhere. It did its job, uh, made a huge difference in the amount of airflow uh, that was hitting me. Uh, I like to ride my visor up. And with the gauntlet fairing, I couldn't. The wind just washed my eyes out. With this, I can ride with the visor up to about 70. At about 70, I need to pull the visor down. But uh, substantially less wind on my chest and face. It does buff it, though. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, quite a bit more buffeting than this fairing right here. So, uh, if you got a weak neck or maybe a uh, a really big head it may really suck for you but it wasn't that horrible um i mean i was cruising with the throttle locked at about 90 95 and i had no major issues but the buffeting is noticeable over this other fairing so why is turd mom back on the lift though um <laughs> after getting this fairing on and going for a ride i came back and uh the fork seal on this side was leaking uh the last few times i rode it i've noticed a little bit of build up there and uh, i didn't think that it was leaking but i'm pretty sure it's leaking so i wanted to uh replace them this week 
Unfortunately, uh, not all the parts that I ordered came in on time because uh, I ordered some new polyurethane riser bushings. I figured while well, I have it all apart, I'll just do it all at one time. But I did go to jpcycles.com, order a complete fork reseal kit, the Motion Pro tool, the socket for the top of the forks, and some fluid. So in the next week or two, I'll get around to rebuilding that. We've been super busy here at the shop, so uh, people are gearing up for Christmas. This week I packaged and shipped think 130 maybe closer to 140 orders my wife's been hammering away on the sewing machine so we've been getting a lot of work done and uh, so that's kind of taken away from me getting a chance to work on the bike but business before pleasure so I got all of this on JP cycles I paid I think $85 for the tool seals and fluid I'm sure the Harley dealer would probably charge me somewhere in the neighborhood of two to three hundred dollars to reseal these so I would rather have the tools and the knowledge. But you do you. One little complaint though. So I order a lot of stuff from JP Cycles. I've been a gold member for years. But uh, they were recently bought out by, however you pronounce this, I want to say it's Komodo. They own Revzilla, Cycle Gear, JP Cycles, Rever. And I've noticed that since that transition has taken place, they don't put stickers in the box anymore. I know it's a stupid complaint, but my daughter loves the stickers. Who doesn't love stickers? I mean, he even here at Hot Head Stalls, we put stickers in every order. And if I forget to put a sticker in your order, I usually personally mail you an envelope with extra stickers in it. Because occasionally, I do forget them. So we're going to get that done while we're at it. Get the oil changed. Got some Walmart brand motorcycle oil. It's full synthetic. It was cheap. It was like $8 a quart. We'll see how that goes. And with winter setting in, I scooped up two of these Walmart brand Ever Start or Never Start, as I used to call them, uh, battery charger and man maintainers. These were only 20 bucks a piece. So we're going to see how those work out because the battery tender brand ones were like 45 bucks a piece. So so I know this video has been a short one and it's been a lot of yap 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 and not much doing anything but in the next uh, week or two weeks we're gonna have a lot of stuff going on a lot of stuff getting finished up and I'm gonna bring you guys along on all of it as I always do so so if you're looking for a fairing um, I can't give this my seal of approval yet I've only got 20 miles with it but uh, as I rack the miles up and get a few thousand miles under my belt, I will let you guys know how this thing holds up. But from what I can tell so far, uh, I think it's probably not a bad buy. So if you're looking for a fairing, head on over to Amazon, check this out, 120 bucks. That extra $200 you save, go ahead, go on a quick weekend trip. And for anybody who's gonna say, well, don't buy the knockoff, buy the Burley. I guarantee you the Burley one is made in China in the same factory. It's how the Chinese work. They, When you have them build something, whenever your contract runs out, they just continue to make it, and they just put a different name on it. So I don't see a point in paying $200 more for the same Chinese piece of plastic that you can get for $120. But... That's going to effectively wrap this video up, guys. I know it was a lot of yap, 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 not much going on, but I appreciate each and every one of you. I love you guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out.